So I'm just going to show you guys how to feather your ends. Um, and you can feather your ends as much as you want to with Allie. Okay? So if you've ever used a hackle, and a hackle is used for blending hair for wig making, it's the same concept. Okay? So you're just going to put the hair into the machine, and then you're going to slide it out. You're going to hold your left hand over it. And then you're pulling the hair, you're pulling the ends as much as you want to. So if you want it tapered a little bit more, you're going to loosen your right hand. Okay? And this is just kind of untangling the hair for you so it makes it easier for you to pull. Now, if you've tapered it enough, then you're just going to lay it inside of Allie. You're going to lay it into the machine. Don't leave too much hair on this side because it will tangle if you leave too much hair on this side, especially for braiding hair and connect a line hair, okay? Make sure that you spread this hair out so it'll be easier for you to tug and pull when you need to. You see how I spread it out? So if I want to pull smaller pieces, I can pull smaller pieces. You're going to close it down and lock it to make it secure. Now when it's time for you to do your install, if you want to take a small piece, you take a small piece. If you want to feather it a little bit more, you stretch it, okay? As much as you want to. If you want to take a larger piece, you take a larger piece. You see how it feathers the end when you pull it out? If you want to pull it out a little bit more, then that's what you do. You stretch it out. You see how it's stretching the hair out for you? And if you want to do it a little more, it's just as simple as that. Okay? Quick, easy. You want to pull out smaller pieces for braiding? Pull them out. You see how quick and easy that is? So Allie is all about like making life easy for you. You just have to utilize your tools and your talents. 